Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. I guess we're going to have a part three of our little series of exploring how water managed to get inside of the Lympho LEM6 and basically destroy the watch. Now, part two in particular has uh, some take apart tear down pieces in it where we were hunting down the location of the antennas and a couple of our viewers have written in and told me i didn't go far enough <laughs> really i thought i tore the whole thing down but no i didn't um first of all check out this little segment from that video where we first pulled this circuit board out the motherboard right here that's the antenna connection so far We've only seen one official antenna connection for GPS. And that's the main circuit board, I'm pretty sure. Is it ready to pop out itself? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, this is fun! This is fun! Now we're talking! Okay, now all the pieces were pulled off of the circuit board, uh, but I've put it back in the same position. If you remember, it's kind of important that it's in the same position. You remember the GPS antenna was connected way up here next to the band cutout, right? And what I'm going to do now is try to lift it up again. And if I carefully take it out, and turn it over horizontal like this. This goes in straight down, right? Now, one of our viewers pointed out, if you look carefully up here, it says Bluetooth and Wi-Fi next to those two little pins. And down here, it says GSM, which is for cellular, and the other one's unmarked. Again, these look like little spring pins on both of them here and here. So if I were to fold this back in again and drop it down, notice where those pins would lie. You see those four little silver spots? That is the connection for the identified antennas, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi up here, and GSM or cellular down there, and they're actually inside this plastic case so here and here and the uh, the other antenna was on the circuit board that went to that big ceramic piece which was your uh, GPS so now we know where the antennas connect to the motherboard and they're somewhere inside the case you want me to go further I mean I'm really gonna have to rip into this thing now <laughs> it's not your watch, right? Okay. <laughs> Why not? When are we ever going to do this? Huh? When? Really? Life is fun. Okay. I'm going to, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I, well, first of all, let's play with this little rubber grommet that I keep wondering whether that's an insert or whether it's actually just raised material. Let's see if we can get in here and pry it up because if it's an actual grommet you're going to want to make sure this thing is sealed it is see that if you happen to take your watch apart you're going to want to make sure it's glued down if it's if it's not if it's loose a little like that uh, you could get it pinched if you tried to put your top back on and it was sitting like that obviously you have huge area for water to come in so um if you open yours up, simply to do that little fix and push that little metal thing that we talked about down, when you put the put it back in again, make sure this is fully sealed. It seems to be kind of pushed in hard, not glued really solid, but it's a perfectly matching little rubber grommet that needs to go in that groove. Now, that's out of here. Okay. Let's see if I can get in here and open it up with the screwdriver. At this point, I'm not really concerned about breaking it as much as just seeing if we can lift this inner part up. Yep, yep, it's going down, it feels like. Here we go, it's starting to pry up, see that? Now, I might end up destroying the antennas, but obviously we have to be able to get to the buttons somehow. Let's go way down in here. Yeah, 
here we go. Here we go. I think I'm getting there. Yeah. Yeah, there's that part there for the sound, I guess. Okay. You know what? I, I might be able to push these back. Aha! Did it! Got the ring off without destroying. At least I don't think I destroyed the antenna connectors, which are here. And look at that. They go right up here. So they're like, I think, right in the edge. I'm going to pull on it. Oh, dear. It's like pulling on a little aluminum foil. I really like to get them out so you can see the pattern. Okay. It's kind of, I'm sorry. It's kind of coming unglued. Yeah. Yeah. Here they are so far. Look at that. It's just glued to the inside surface. Wow. Okay, you got enough light now. Let's pull it the rest of the way out. Ah, oh, gone. I need more hands. Mrs. Dex, where are you? Uh, that's it? I think so. That goes right up to that edge. So, this, with two of the pins here, on one side had two antenna um, labels, and Wi-Fi and um, Bluetooth, and the other had one uh, for cellular. And it looks like that is the antenna from that location. Which one was it? Well, I'll let you guys figure that out right now. But let's set that down. Come back here. And if it worked that way, I bet this one works the same way. And let's yank on it. Find out. It's coming up from over here on this side. Let's try that side first. Ah, I broke it off. Look at that. All right. Well, all is not lost. We can still try to get in here. Yeah. Because we got it started. Okay. I'm going to try to... You know what? I'm going to just work... There it is. They're going to work on it and try to get it out for us. Okay. Here we go. I got it loosened from the other edge. And... We keep pulling it. Whoa, boy. Whoa, and it even goes way up here. And over there. Ah, aha. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there's the inside. I'm having to hold the flesh out of my mouth to give you lighting. And here is the antenna then. Now, this part that came off goes like right here, I think. If it were to stick on something besides me. Yeah, so fits in here. <laughs> there, all right. That is the shape of the future. That apparently is the way the antenna needs to be shaped, at least the outside physical look of it. Inside, it could be different lines folded over. Who knows? But uh, I don't think it's transparent. Can we see through it? No. Can't see the lines through it. Okay, well, we've done it. Thanks to our viewers out there who know about this stuff. We've isolated the three missing antennas that were tucked up and taped actually inside the case itself. Two antennas on one end and one on the other. Connected by uh, to the circuit board. 
in these little pressure points right here that said Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and GPS. I mean GSM for uh, cellular. And of course GPS was on the other side. And all antennas are accounted for. And now, other than taking the whole thing down to the actual screen itself underneath here, uh, we've done a, a complete teardown of this watch. Okay. Glad we finally found that. That that was bothering me, and I'm sure some of you too. But the antennas definitely can be wrapped inside. It's pretty amazing. All right, you've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Complete disassembly of the LEM6, which is the same as the F3, pretty much, uh, with some software differences. And again, I invite any of you that get an LEM6 and have the ability to do Bluetooth calling. Either if it comes shipped to you that way, you've done an over-the-air update of the firmware and suddenly you can do it, or if you have to physically update the firmware yourself and, and get that capability, any of you, any which way, let us know. Let us know how you did it in the show notes uh, comments down below, please, so that uh, the rest of everybody that has a working one can emulate that, all right? Um, once again, you'll probably find in your app drawer where you see all of your apps, there'll be a new one in there that says Watch BT. Watch BT for Watch Bluetooth. We have a video up on how that works um, once you get it so you can learn how to use it, how to make calls from your contacts list as well as receive calls and answer them and so forth. Um, yeah, and we want to know because obviously I can't tell you anymore uh, unless I get somebody to send me another one of these i'll see what i can do but uh definitely the 1015 f3 fully works uh doing the bluetooth calling and it's the same physical hardware just the uh, software differences well well we did it thank you guys thanks so much for your help and any more comments please leave them down below and by the way check the comments because one of our viewers has talked to us about what these different chips are I believe he said the Samsung is probably the memory. And then there's the MediaTek chip and a couple of the others in here. Oh, and, and he saw this. You see that? What do you think that's going to be in the future? <laughs> oh, we'll have to find out. Come on back. All right, we'll see you later.